Hi, it's Dr. Kevin, author of The Hypothyroid Diet. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about hypothyroid symptoms, but I also want to talk about the signs of hypothyroidism, and ultimately, I'm going to give you another test that you can do at home that's going to help your physician determine if you have hypothyroidism. You know, hypothyroidism is often misdiagnosed, it's misunderstood, it's mistreated, it's undertreated, and as you will see, that because the symptoms are so vast, they could be mimicking another condition or even mimicking something that's unhealthy. I mean, if you think about it, there are a lot of Americans that have fatigue and weight gain and they're not sleeping, they have aches and pains. And so what we want to do is help you put the pieces of the puzzle together to make a clearer picture for yourself and also your physician. Because if we understand what's going on, then of course we can treat it, okay? And as you may or may not know, thyroid hormone is in every cell of the body and it really runs most of the major systems inside the body. That's why there's so many symptoms of hypothyroidism. So let's just go over them really quick and that way you can get a little bit better of a picture and kind of match it up to what you're dealing with. Some of the biggies are fatigue and weight gain. Those are the biggest two symptoms that people deal with that have hypothyroidism. Cold hands and feet, insomnia, depression, and then we get into some GI disturbances, constipation, and any time that you have problems with the gut, you can also have problems with neurotransmitters or in depression. Low libido, heavy menstruation, physical aches and pains, memory loss, headaches, typical very early in the morning, uh, people will get headaches and they may diminish as the day goes on if you have hypothyroidism, hair loss, poor concentration, brittle nails, and dry hair. This is uh, a list of some of the most common symptoms of hypothyroidism, and they're different from the signs of hypothyroidism, which we're going to cover tomorrow. And if you can kind of put those side by side, they're different. But what we want to do is put the pieces of the puzzle again for you and your physician, so that way you can determine if you have hypothyroidism or not. Of course, he's going to go through and do some blood tests, and that's going to help as well. But the more information you have, the more information that your physician has, the better chance of you having a successful outcome. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, you can go over these again and replay the video so you have those and you can write them down and compare them to what you're dealing with. So anyway, I'm Dr. Kevin at thehypothyroiddiet.com. Until next time, eat well and be well.